Hi everybody, welcome back to a weekend edition of The Daily Dose. My name is Lauren and I'm part of the visitor engagement team here at the Calgary Zoo. Today I am in the African Savannah building at the Rock Hyrax habitat. Rock Hyraxes are one of my favorite animals here at the Calgary Zoo. These tiny mammals are adorable herbivores and I love watching them. But that's not the reason that they're my favorite. Rock Hyraxes help us understand a little bit more of the incredible science of taxonomy. What's taxonomy, you ask? We started talking a little bit about this science in the Red Panda Daily Dose at Home. So if you haven't watched that one yet, you might want to check that one out as well. But taxonomy is the science of how we name, classify, and understand the relationships between all life on Earth. Taxonomy is the science that helps us know that animals like lions, tigers, and snow leopards are more closely related to each other and grouped in the genus Panthera, while animals like cougars, even though they're a large cat, they're actually not as closely related. They're more closely related to our domestic cats. Taxonomy is the science that helps us understand those relationships. It also helps us understand something called your most recent common ancestor. And that is a really interesting concept. As humans, we have cousins. I have first cousins, second, third, fourth, the further out you go. What we share are common ancestors if you go back many generations. It's like saying you share the same great, 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 great grandparent with somebody. And if we go back far enough, all of us humans share common ancestors. Animal groups do as well. One of my favorite examples of two groups of animals that you might not think are related are hippos and whales. That's right, even though they look completely different now, those two groups are actually each other's closest living relatives. They share a common ancestor 55 million years ago. Now there are many, many generations and many extinct species in between those two groups. So they have adapted and changed and evolved over time. So they look very different. But now we can look at their skeletons. We can look at their body structures and in the modern age DNA. And we know that they are each other's cousins. Now back to rock hyraxes. The reason I love them so much is because they have a close living relative that you would not expect. Let's take a look at a rock hyrax skull and see if we can figure out who their closest living relatives are. When we take a look, there's something that you're gonna notice right away on this rock hyrax skull. See these elongated front teeth? They are a tusk. Now, on a different edition of the Weekend Daily Dose, we learned about animals with tusks. We learned that most animals who have tusks, like walruses and wild boars, those tusks are an extension of their canine teeth. Those are the sharp teeth on the sides of their mouth. But there was one animal whose tusks are from their incisors, their front teeth. If I look at the hyrax skull, I can see that these tusks are incisors. Now I can also take a look at their body. They're sleeping right now. But when I look at a rock hyrax, they don't have claws on their paws, unlike many members of, let's say, the rodent or the weasel families. They have fingernails, kind of like us, but they're flat. So who do I know that has nails on their feet as well as tusks from their incisors? You got it? If you guessed elephants, you're correct. One of the closest living relatives to rock hyraxes are elephants, as well as a group called sirens, which includes manatees and dugongs. These three groups of animals share a common ancestor about 60 million years ago. But even though lots of generations and lots of species are extinct, they are each other's closest living relative. I just think taxonomy is an incredible science because it helps us understand all of these relationships between life on Earth, which is critical if we're going to protect them both here at home in Canada or around the world and in the wild. Thank you so much for joining me on this weekend edition of The Daily Dose to learn a little bit more about my favorite science. Click on the activity PDF for the day and we'll catch you on the next weekend edition of The Daily Dose. And thank you for supporting wildlife conservation.